Authorization. Ma Please select the desired procedure. Please select the desired Please select the desired procedure. Major. Is that left or right? Seems it. No idea how right you are. <laughs> Don't give him. Major. We need to get upstairs. Desire to dance with you. Imagine if there were two of them. What are you looking at, Major? Fight! Robotics technology and for what? To kill. How disgraceful. Why is using everything she has to kill you? Use everything you have!
Project, approved by the Secret Congress of the CPSU Central Committee on February 14, 1951.
The goal is the suppression of the United States of America, change of political regime, abolition of capitalism, establishment of communism, establishing social and moral ideals consistent with the beliefs of a Soviet person. The method of execution is the seizure of the strategic and military facilities followed by disconnection and shutdown of nuclear power plants. Effective deactivation of the atomic heart of America, complete surrender of the government, and the transfer of power to the top leadership of the USSR. So how are they gonna pull that off? Well, Sergei, first they sell robots, then they simply give them away as aid. Once they reach critical mass, they take over all the power plants and cut off the power. Greetings, honored members of the Politburo. I am pleased to inform you that the Atomic Heart Project is now complete and ready for launch. This is a top secret project designed to crush the resistance of our class enemies in Western Europe, East Asia, and of course, North America. As you know, Facility 3826 has been a player on the capitalist market for many years now providing a labor force, i.e. robots, to the entire world free of charge as a way to skirt sanctions. The distribution of these robots has already led to civil unrest due to growing unemployment in rival countries. But more importantly, it has also led to our devices being located in strategic targets without exception, including nuclear power plants. After switching them to combat mode, we will capture rival countries' nuclear reactors and demand that power be handed over to the people. The borders of the Soviet Union will expand beneath the banner of a people's uprising. We will demonstrate the advantages of our ideology and disseminate it throughout the world. The Soviet Union will square its shoulders and direct mankind's gaze up to the stars. The Atomic Heart Project will be launched as soon as every citizen of our nation has been fully polymerized. Thank you for your time, comrades. I never would have thought Sechenov would be capable of something like this. Dmitri is not the man he was when we started this. I don't know what broke him. Atomic Heart, politics, or the fact that everyone has been calling him a brilliant genius every day for years. At full speed, the GMC-69 geodesic monocycle's wheel can slice a man's body in half. Its standard loadout includes a 7.62 millimeter machine gun that can be replaced with a flamethrower or laser gun. I still don't get how we can control machines in America from the Soviet Union. It's not like hacking a hub in the facility. Comrade Major, the polymers have the ability to transmit information among themselves without need for radio frequencies. No other transmitters are required since the neuropolymer is itself a transmitter. Collective 2.0 will work the same way, but with the brains of ordinary users. An enormous social distance would be required to avoid control, but the undesirable outcasts will be caught by the robots. This robot's extremities are made out of PTA-4 for improved human spine-breaking performance. The NAT-256 Natasha heavy-duty ground-based loader bot 
can squeeze up to five liters of blood from a human body in under 20 seconds. I bet it'll be like how people control these monsters with that fucking gizmo there. The thought controller. As I said earlier, thought is nothing but a trinket, a fake. The primary connector is the jelly lab, the neuropolymer. And only Sechenov has access to it. Only the jelly man, the massive data array, can resonate with all polymerized objects and control them. And believe me, Comrade Major, a tremendous amount of polymer has been spread throughout the world over the last few years. Every machine and every human being on Earth will become part of Collective. Designed as a mobile healthcare unit, the doc cannot replace a medic or paramedic, but it is quite adept at performing autopsies, especially if the patient is still alive. The Bumblebee has a silent mode for infiltrating enemy lines and gathering intelligence. Acting as an exoskeleton for a plush based neuropolymer creature, the Dewdrop is a highly capable combat unit whose laser beam's penetration rate for human flesh is a staggering 0.15 seconds. So, to make a long story short, Sechenov is in charge of this polymer thingy, this jelly man, and the jelly man is gonna be in charge of everything that becomes part of the network. Indeed. Sounds like frickin' black magic or something. The polymers have not been fully studied, nor has Collective. It is entirely possible that humans have created something greater than themselves. In fact, the electronic messages you have been reading at the pair terminals may very well have been specially selected for you by the neural network, or even created. We simply don't know, Major. I don't like the sound of that. It's no worse than a single man's drive to control more lives than just his own. The hauler is capable of detaining intruders with a special clamp. It is programmed to keep the subject pinned to the ground while awaiting a human rapid response team, or terminate it if none is coming. The ideal anti-personnel operator, programmed with advanced melee techniques, prioritizing breaking victims' necks to ensure zero survivability. A light reconnaissance drone. A group of owls can lift an enemy off the ground and drop it from a lethal height. Listen, this is fucking bonkers. Sechenov wants to take over the world and blow up America. Not blow it up. Just deprive it of electricity. Weren't you listening? If you still have doubts after the Academy, what I've told you, and everything you've seen around you, let's just do what we came here to do. Look your former boss in the eye and ask him. The MFU-68 laborer is heavily represented among the robotic staff of prisons, where it carries out patrol duties. Designed as a freight drone, the DROFA also doubles as a punitive expedition unit. Its unique Archimedes screw rotors can chop a human body into bits as efficiently as an industrial-grade meat grinder. Data. 